Next up is Larry Mintz with all the talk about Endgame and if it will or won't hit certain box office records. I feel like we've been ignoring that Spider-Man Far From Home is coming out soon. Did you see that the new trailer? Did you see the new trailer that shows Peter using a bunch of Tony tech, making a new Spider-Man suit, using his iconic glasses, and showing us what they can do? I love this trailer, but do you worry they're starting to show us too much? Also, do you think they're hinting that Peter becomes the new Tony in the MCU? Thanks, and we love the show. Well, thank you so much for that, Larry. And yeah, for those of you who have not caught it, there's a new Spider-Man Far From Home spot that is now online. And it's about, a, I think it's about a minute, I think, at any rate. And in it, you see Peter donning the, the infamous Tony Stark glasses. But also we see him utilizing Tony Stark technology. He's working, of course, with Hap, which we, we saw in other trailers as well, so that's fine. But it's like he's using one of Tony's private jets going, make me a Spider-Man suit. And it's got like this 3D magic, again, Tony and his magic technology. Uh, his thing, 3D manufacturing a Spider-Man suit just like that out of nowhere. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. And being in one of Tony's cars, wearing Tony's glasses, it was pretty funny watching him use the glasses to see what the text conversation between Ned and the girl beside him was, which I thought was really adorable and all that kind of stuff. You know, Rob, when they first put out the trailers for Far From Home, and even after we saw Endgame, I knew that the relationship between Tony and Peter would be an important thing to Peter. You know, we see him in the other trailer sitting on that rooftop looking up at the mural made of of Iron Man on the wall. So we knew that was an important thing. But if you were to ask me, John, do you think he'll like kind of start moving into Tony's life a little bit, like working with Tony's tech and doing all that kind of stuff? I would have said no, but it kind of looks like they're moving in that direction. As somebody who really doesn't like the Iron Spider crap, I'm not sure... I I love the emotional tie between him and Tony. I don't know if I dig the idea of him just kind of becoming the next Tony and I'm starting to feel like maybe that's the direction they're going in. Anyway, Rob, do you think these are just isolated scenes meant to be fun and funny or do you think this is kind of an indicator that he is going to become the new Tony Stark? And regardless of which one it is, do you like the idea? What what do you think? I I think the exact opposite actually. Mm. I think that there's this movie is called Spider-Man Far From Home. I think that's literally about where uh, it, the title is not just about him being in Europe. It's about where Spider-Man is as a hero and as a person. Mm. He's moved so far away from being the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and that I think this whole movie is about defining, I think Peter Parker is going to be defining himself and defining what Spider-Man is. And that is, he's from New York. You know, he's from Brooklyn or Queens or wherever the hell he's living now. And I think that he's a hero of the people. He's 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 not somebody that should be go fight should be fighting infinity wars. He'll he'll fill in when it's required. But I thought that we see that clip of him making these costumes in this new TV spot, but then we see that plane blow up later. You know, we've seen the clip from Happy going, well, get on the jet, and then the jet explodes. I think this whole movie is about going to be recontextualizing Spider-Man and bringing him back to being more of the hero of the people. The man who fights for uh, the, the people on the man on the street, his own neighborhood, and they're going to take him back to his roots. And I think that's what Far From Home really means, that the Spider-Man character has gone too far from home, and now we're going to bring him back down to Earth. I, I think that might be reading too much into it, but... It's so smart. It just might be the accurate truth on that. And I think there have been other signs, to to your point. I think there have been other signs that they're bringing back to that. For instance, the movie opens with him in the crappy, ridiculous, stupid Iron Spider suit, which I know a lot of you guys love. I I know a lot of you guys love it. I like it. But as we get (laughs) further into the movie, it looks like in the trailers, no, he gets back to what Spider-Man is. He ain't Iron Man Jr. Uh, He gets back into a more traditional Spider-Man outfit, which I love. And that might speak to your point, which which I didn't even think about that, Rob. It might actually speak to your point a little bit that maybe we're going to see him getting back to that, which would be an interesting uh, way for them to go. Question here is, guys, what do you think about this new spot? I actually thought it was quite good, and I don't think it's starting to show too much. Not at all. These are just little glimpses they're giving us, and they're not giving away major plot points at all, so I think we're totally safe there. But what do you think about it? Jump down in the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.